show you how to do uh, the bang style that was the most popular throughout the 40s. Uh, it was also done throughout the 50s and the 60s, um, and even prior to those eras. Uh, it's just where their um, bang has a nice, strong sweep to it, um, sometimes referred to as the Marcel wave. As you can see, my bangs are doing this a little bit already. This is only because I styled my bangs to do the very same yesterday. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, you can use the stand-up pin curls where you just take a section of hair and you roll it up and you pin it in place and then use some hairspray or any sort of product that you'd like. You can use hot rollers or pin curls. Um, I'm going to show you what I think is the quickest and just as effective way to achieve this look. Is you take your bane area and you brush it up. Spray a little hairspray and kind of help it dry standing up. This is just so it'll have a lot of lift. And then brush it down to its side. So as you can see, I've created that uh, very voluminous lift at the top. Again, spray with some hairspray. Try not to get it in your eyes. And what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be molding the hair with the, the product or hairspray. And so just pin in place with some sort of clip. And continue all the way around your shape and make it as you see fit. This is done the very same way that finger waves were done. Um, just taken to a more extreme. Uh, if you were to do finger waves, you would use more product and you would not brush it out later on. You can make this as strong or as delicate as you see fit and then just spray it all down with hairspray. If you need to, just try to delicately brush the hairspray into the hairs and continue with molding its shape. And then all you do is let that dry. Once the hairspray is all dry, just go ahead and take out the clips. And you'll see that it's already taking on that shape. Of course, with a softer hairstyle, you want the bangs to be equally as soft. So you're just going to brush it out. Some people also like to take the bangs and uh, tease the front a little bit uh, just for a little extra volume. Now that we have our bang and curls in, um, what we're going to do is just take the sides and pin them in place. I like to just take it and give it a slight twist and push it up into the twist. So it gives it a little boost in volume and pin one behind and kind of going underneath and then take another bobby pin and cross it over the other one so it holds well. And I usually like to leave this side because it kind of sweeps down and save it for last so it's a little bit easier to blend into the bun. I'd say about two to three inches worth of hair and take the rest of it into a ponytail about halfway up on your head and go ahead and tie it back. And then take this section and sort of match what you did on this side and twist it up and pin it into the ponytail. And then take your bane area and just try to make the sweep as strong as possible. And just gently guide it into the twist and pin it in place. 
just use hairspray to smooth everything down and give it a nice sleek touch. And at this point a lot of people tend to uh, tease their hair just to make the bun a lot fuller. But what we're going to do is take pieces of the hair in the back and just gently pin it to the scalp of your head. This is where those curls come in handy uh, because it tends to want to curl back on its own and it makes it a lot easier to handle. There should be a slight curl uh, that you can see through on the side of the bun. If that bothers you, just pin it to the scalp as well. And it'll become a nice even shape. And then take it and spray it down. And just take your comb and lightly comb over so it has a nice smooth, very wide bun shape. Any little pieces that come out that bother you, just take a pin and pin them in place. And there you have it, another notebook inspired 1940s hairstyle. Again, it's easy to make your own by adding any sort of hair accessory such as a flower or bow. Um, one of my favorite things to do with it, instead of putting it back in a bun, is just to let long ringlets hang down, still using the Marcel wave and uh, hairs pinned at the side. So I just want to thank you for watching and until next time, this is I.